All right, so I'm going to try to cross El Camino here at Selby. Um, there's only a crosswalk on the north side of El Camino. There's no crosswalk on the south side. So it's pretty impossible for a bicyclist to remain a bicyclist and cross El Camino here. I really have to become a pedestrian. So the trick is to get across the street to where the crosswalk is, which is where Mike is standing right now. Um, there's no crosswalk to cross Selby, and there's no sidewalk on the other side of Selby. So I have this tricky maneuver that I do where I cross the street, I become a wrong way bicyclist until such time as I become a pedestrian, and then I wave to the cars and have them stop and let me cross, which is what I'm going to do. Margaret Pye, you, you, you bike to work every day? I bike to work every day, yes. And your route your route includes crossing El Camino here at Selby Lane? Yes, it does. And wh why do you cross here? Why not take another route that's safer to cross El Camino? Um, I don't know any route that's safer to cross El Camino. <laughs> I don't know any route that is safe, period, to cross El Camino. Um, but I have certain destinations, um, shops that I'm headed to, or like this afternoon we're headed to a Silicon Valley Bicycle Coalition meeting in Redwood City and this is a really good way to get to a bike boulevard that's over here by Glendale. Um, it's a real convenient way to, to bypass the whole El Camino Woodside Road area which is not nice. Would you consider yourself an experienced cyclist? You're not um, new at cycling. Right? I am not new at cycling. Um, I bought this bike about five years ago and I put an odometer on it when I bought it and the odometer's been running ever since and I just passed 16,000 miles and that's less than five years. So even for you, in your opinion, crossing this street is challenging. Even for an expert cyclist, this is not I, safe enough. I call it harrowing. <laughs>